got there first, and I was right there setting it up. Smokey, what up, though? Pab, salute to you for being first. Pebs, tell me about this weirdo bitch, man. Fuck going on. Hashtag justice for Patty, bruh. I don't think a lot of them know who Patty is. We don't. As a as as a whole, only because, bruh, like, I just met controller, bruh. Alright? Obviously, you know more. Feel free. I'm not, you know, influencing you or nothing. Feel free to speak. Alright? You know about this. So Again, hashtag justice for Patty. Controller has moved to like a different part of Gary's house. In the, the, the penthouse, by the way. The penthouse. It needs a paint job. And, but. And the Patty is her. Patty wife, is the wife. The right? wife that died that had AIDS also. I so how does. Up. So does Gary have AIDS? I don't know. What they, how'd the AIDS thing happen? Like, do they even well, know? Have know. you ever heard of what, how it was that the mom had AIDS? Mm -hmm. Okay. Not the stepmom. Stepmom. So that's the stepmom. Uh, Gary's the step pops, yeah. but the mom, I, I guess, messed with Gary at some point yeah. in time. Mm -hmm. The mom is gone in the window. She does she even does control the fuck with her mom or does? I don't know. Huh? She talks a lot know. of shit about her online. Hmm. Uh, you can still fuck with a motherfucker and talk shit about them. You know. I don't know. She would seem like that type of female that would be like. Maybe smiling at her face, but then on the internet talking greasy. Is she talking greasy or is she just talking bad? bad? You know the difference. Like, talking bad is like, maybe she might tell you some of the stuff that, like, maybe growing up with her. I she think her mom say. tried to tell her she's still an addict. I think that's what, on one of her lives recently, she said her mom was trying to tell her she's still an addict because she's on methadone and she should get off. And her mom, or it wasn't a disease and Controller lost it on her mom. And she was bragging that she cussed her out and shit. Okay, to me, that's not a bad mom. Because her mom was calling her out and she was cussing her out. She was bragging about pretty much cussing her mom out. You may not agree with your mom, but what your mom is saying, you know, like, has some sort of, like, you need to get off of that. Yeah, but the Patty is a uh, stepmom, but it's Gary's wife that died. Okay. So Gary's wife dies of AIDS. That's the not of AIDS. I don't know how she died, but she had AIDS. She had AIDS. She had in the bed that Controller sleeps in. So and she the the bedroom. What what's sparking this conversation is that Controller now lives in the area that technically used to belong to Patty. Yes. That's Did Patty fuck with Controller? No, Patty didn't like. Controller. That's not yeah. Like Gary, like that's disrespect right there, nigga. You move to the section where Patty used to be, and leave Controller the uh, like another part. But how you gonna give Patty shit, bro? Patty's areas, Patty's bed. Patty's you know, bedroom. is she cooking with Patty's pots? <laughs> Come on, bro. Y'all got to have some type of respect, bro. All right, bitch cooking mushrooms, a clusterfuck of a house. Boy, you would not be able to, man. You know, you would not be able to. Patty's leftovers, right, Scuba Steve? Patty's leftovers. Uh, I'm saying though, man. Why though? Why why she got to be in Patty's area? Is that Patty's fucking table that she's cutting the mushrooms up on? All right, at least she has the decency to have a cutting board. If the bitch would have been on there just knifing into the shit, she cuts like a toddler. I was watching her cut. She cuts like a toddler. Controller was live early in her kitchen. House looks like a fucking hoarder's house. Shout to Jadis, bro. Jadis, what up, though, man? Yo, uh, again, shout out to Pab, Smokey, what up? Scuba Steve, salutes. At work, listening in. Salutes, sir. Hope you're having a good day at work. All right, J-Fam, sex symbol, reporting for duty. Chris Trotman, we live. Jadis and this bitch. Chung, what up, man? People keep talking about date night with Control and Gary, and that is why. Damn. Shout out to David. She said her kid is staying at the in-law's Christmas night, I'm assuming, so her and Gary can have date night. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. I think that'd be crazy to be fucking on your, technically your stepdaughter, You didn't right? see them wearing matching couple's pajamas? It was strange. Well, well, no, it's not strange. It was strange. No, like if it, it was. If they got a red, bro, that's like saying that would be strange if me and Dom did something like that. And I would do mm. something like that with Dom. Like, not on like an everyday basis, but like, 
If Dom wanted a fucking hold up, you know that table. Animal. You know that table she was eat or she was cutting on. Yeah. She said she was there eating dinner the other night. How? Okay. Is that patty shit though? I, I think it's patty shit. Let them hoes breathe, baby. Come on, get some get some air, babies. Get some air, babies. Huh? Get some air. Bro, a fat bitch just came back from a fucking, uh, 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 just a full stretch of no audio, right? Why are you cutting off the audio? Let us hear what that man has to say, okay? We know Gary love you, man. Stop trying to paint it as we like, like this is like some type of witch hunt for you, okay? Motherfuckers want to know you be talking that ball shit, all right? But you living under somebody else's roof. You ain't no boss, bitch. Fuck you talking about. You in a and you know what? I'm happy. Not saying that I'm pocket watching, but she just so happened to mention it. So when I heard it, I was just like, <laughs> I laughed. You mentioned it, though. I didn't have to go looking for it. As soon as I over, oh, okay. Not even controller feels comfortable on this platform we call YouTube, bro. Okay? That's another difference between me and you. I'm comfortable. Okay? Salute to you for being a fucking bum bitch. All right? I'm talking to you. I know people in the chat going, but Zayam, what about Pebs? You talk to Pebs. Hey, I'm talking to that bitch over there. Okay? Bitch, you're not on my level. That's how you like it? The mushrooms that you baking? Be baked. So I think I will do that. Oh my god, I made it. <laughs> Mushroom bacon, bitch. Fuck out of here, bruh. Fuck out of here. Salutes. Chat, what up, man? Pabs, what up? Yeah. All right. Uh, besides uh, controller, salutes to the chat. Um, Hampton Brandon, bruh. Can we get to that? Can where we get to she, that? Where would she go if Gary says get out? She would have nowhere to go. She would have nowhere to go. Where would she go? Where do you think she would go? Like, that girl don't got nowhere to go. She'd start sucking dick for a place to live. You feel yeah. me? Salute to Gary for just being that higgy to fucking take a bitch in. Now you ain't going to be able to get rid of her. <laughs> All right? You giving her Patty shit. Hashtag justice for Patty. I, I, I say, Gary, take the fucking link. Explain yourself. You know, don't talk to me. Talk to Patty. Patty reached out to me. She said, can you talk some sense into that motherfucker over there? That lady died. Giving my shit? Yeah, that lady dies and control against everything that was Patty's. The car, the bed, the now the bedroom. Hold on. We, did, bro, what the fuck going on? The clothes. Yo, hold on. It. Did Controller live there when Patty died? Mm-hmm. Come on, bro. She lived there when, when Patty died. I hope y'all higgins that was watching that wasn't fucking with control. I hope y'all was like, did y'all let police know? Did y'all send anything over there? Say, hey, make sure you check for, uh... I wonder, do they do an autopsy on everybody? If you just hit a motherfucker and say, yo, she passed away. Do they necessarily I go through this? I think they the do because they have to determine a cause of death. Mm, true. But sometimes they go back in cases, you know, and they review old cases to see the actual cause of death because sometimes they misdiagnose causes of death. But I'm saying if you get, if you get a... Uh... Black Widow, yes, Jada, it's because her She's husband died in Widow. the bathroom downstairs <laughs> and Patty died upstairs. Yo, motherfuckers is dying in that house. In that man. house. Gary's next. I get it, though. Like, he owned the house, though, right? But she keeps talking about when, when my dad dies, I'm getting the house. Guarantee you it won't be long till Gary's Gary. dead, too. And she thinks Damn, she's Damn, Gary, bruh. Gary, you setting yourself up, dog. All right? There's already been two bodies under her watch while being at your crib. And you up in there mutting and jeffing with her and her child. Her child. That's not not your child, but her child. You now take the risk of possibly being taken under. I don't I, I don't know. I don't like them odds, bro. You know what I mean? Like I think at that point, like I would say, nah, I gotta live here, Dola. Or maybe i almost I wonder if maybe that's also why. The sections are how are they separated? Can she just walk freely or if he wanted to, can he can he corridor himself into an area where she can't get to? Maybe a bathroom or a bedroom. Hmm. I wonder, is Gary the type to lock his bedroom at night when he goes to sleep? That would say a lot. I don't think he does. Hmm. 
That's risky. No, I, I feel like she would do something to make it look as if he, it was natural. I'm saying there could be like a natural way for it to... She absolutely would do that and then be like, my dad died, I don't know how, but Ooh. when can I get his house? When can I get his money? Yo, I don't think she's going to be able to do that, though. She has There has to be some type of paperwork. Yeah, she's under the impression that she's getting the house. He has other kids, too. But she's under the impression she's the one getting um, the house. Might be, they might have a better fight at claiming the stuff. Because of biological, yeah. Yeah. Not her, though. So it, hopefully she knows that if her name is not on the... Here's another thing, right? On some on some really grimy shit. If Gary was to die, like let's say, right? Gary was to die. And none of them other kids come looking for Gary or that house. She technically could take it over, right? But at any moment in time, she could say, fuck it, leave. And she wouldn't be held responsible. The house would be taken. So it's really like, it's really to the benefit of them kids. Hopefully they, you know, hopefully they keep in contact with the with Oh, and cops. he said biological next of kin. Yeah. Yeah, without a win, the biological next of kin gets dibs on an estate. Now, does it have to be established as an estate without a will? No, no, without a will, you're not establishing. All right, cool. So that makes sense. But if you listen to her, she constantly, recently... I'm saying said, she's going to get the house by default because she's living in it. But if the kids don't claim it, because the kids could claim it and then just charge her the rent. Yeah. And if they don't charge her the rent, then she would have to leave. Technically, it's not her crib. She can't stay there. She's only staying there because Gary I, is I, like on a verbal say-so. I feel like Gary is going to pass in 2024. <laughs> What? It's new year. I feel Pabs, like... we're in 2023. <laughs> I feel like... Gary's Between gonna... 8 to 10 days away from a new year 2024. Gary's going to magically die You're telling me year. Gary dying this next year, year? 2024. 2024. Are we looking first quarter, second quarter, maybe? Around Cr summer. Before she comes. Summer? <laughs> Can the summer. man get a th at least his last summer? Nobody gives a fuck about a last winter. Can I get my last summer? Well, you know how they come down for summer to Florida? I feel like he ain't making it to Florida this time. Does she still do the Florida trip, though? <laughs> Bitch is going to be on probation. I don't know. I don't know. She'll be on probation. I don't even know if she What can. if she ends up going to jail? What if the judge decides that, Bitch, you're going to jail? I, I changed my mind. I see you fucking around on the internet. Mind, yeah. Yeah, you know what? I, I made a decision. I'm, we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna move forward. Judge could say you said under oath that. What's the you least were I could give her? Up. Mm -hmm. What you think? A couple years. In jail. They ain't gonna give her a couple months. No, she'd probably get two, three. Two, three. Let's take the two. Okay. Miss Tabona, right? Tabona. Mrs. Tabona. Get your steps in. Get your steps in while you're in the yard. Okay, take this time to reflect on your behaviors, uh, and hopefully you come back a better woman. I sentence you. All right. Well, Jay Sam, the problem is, is uh, at sentencing, <sighs> at sentencing, the people she hit are allowed to talk that day. Not to mention, people sent the district attorney the clip of her saying she only said she was guilty, so her kid didn't have to testify. Meanwhile, when she was in court, she told the judge she pled guilty because she's guilty. So she lied under oath. The judge already didn't like her. Right? So the judge absolutely could change her mind and say, you lied. I'm not giving you another chance. And you're going to jail. You know? All right. Salutes, man. Shout out to JFAM. Let me see. She owned a business, and her death was really unexpected, but she did have a will, so I brought that here, and I'm hoping you can help, you know, with whatever my next steps are, because I think I'm named as the executor in the will, so what do I do next? Oh, well, thank you. Let me review this. Okay, so I'm reading through her assets here, and it looks like she has a primary residence in California worth $1 million. She has her vacation home in Lake Tahoe worth $500,000. Her business was worth $1 million. 
She has two hundred thousand dollars in her investment account that's been invested in the stock market. What a hell of a and parent! She left hundred thousand dollars in the bank account. She is very successful. I know, right? So what's next? I'm hoping this is pretty quick because I need the money to help my daughters pay for college. Well, you're right that your mom did have a will and you are named as the executor. And because of that, you are headed to probate court, both in California and Nevada. And your probate court bill is roughly $140,000. Um, I'm confused. No, I, I think you're mistaken. She has a will, so I don't need to go to probate court. She wanted me to have all of her stuff and she definitely didn't want me to pay $140,000. She wanted me, wanted to give me money. She wanted me to spend money. Maybe reread that. I'm so sorry. There's no mistake here. All your mom had was a will. And so therefore you have to go to probate court in order to receive all of the assets. There's really no yeah. other option here. This is insanity. I have to pay $140,000 to receive the things she wants me to have. What should she have done instead? Like my stuff. This you feel me? is not what I want to do for my kids. Your mom should have set up a living trust and she should have changed the deeds to her properties into the name of her living trust. She should have also retitled her bank accounts and her stock accounts to be in the name of her trust. And she should have assigned her business interest to her trust and named you as the beneficiary of her trust so that you wouldn't have to go to probate court and you wouldn't have to spend $140,000. But she didn't do that. So here we are. Okay. Note to self. Getting a living trust. This Ooh. man at the beach was shocked when he saw. <sighs> Technically, it's not an easy thing as people would make it seem. You know, it's not that easy to just fucking die. Like, I guess, you know, you got to have your shit. You got to have your your ducks in, in, in a row. Like, or I guess the, I guess what happens though, if when you don't do that, you're just allowing the government to have to step in, I guess, and do it right. Salute, Sha. What up, man? Okay. J-Fan said, all that is already set up for my kids. J-Fan, how much did it cost you to set that up? Versus the, what they say, 140000 140, 140000 right? is trying to make her chat pay to roast you. That's funny. <clears throat> Good luck, man. If you make money, then, you know, salute to you. Listen, if, if Gary does pass away... Someone needs to look into control it because that'll be the third death in that house. And at that point, something's wrong. I wonder how understand. they would do it by natural. Like, what is she doing? She's putting something in their uh, in their food to make their fucking heart spike or some well, shit. Well, I, I made a joke yesterday because I'm highly allergic to crawfish. I wonder how did they die though? Did they die from like heart attacks or shit like that? You never know. So like, you if, could give someone something they're allergic to, and they could stop breathing from oh, shit, closing true. the airwaves. That's natural. You're allergic to it. You fucking ate it, whatever, and you're fucking dead. I was joking about that yesterday, saying if you gave me crawfish, you'd get away with murder just based off the simple fact I'm highly allergic. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So if someone fucking dies in that house again, someone needs to look into that bitch. She's gained money from her dead husband and all of Patty's shit from Patty dying. She gained something from everybody dying in that house. She's just getting it. Uh, she's getting it the uh, the handoff type of way. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? She's getting hand me downs. Now I wonder if that's the same instance with like personal as you know personal items like this stuff type of stuff. You know what I mean? Because that I see what J Fan talking about. It's about five k for each home they have, right? That's really just for the house though. That's not necessarily. Yeah, yeah. It's funny to too. I was. This, uh, this, uh, this is actually a really good uh, a good conversation to have to know what happens. Because in all honesty, like if... But here's the thing, though, right? Like the house, the house that she has, if Gary dies and she continues to pay the house, the taxes, all that type of stuff, I don't think them people come looking for that house. I don't think nobody steps in for the house. Somebody has to come looking for that. You know what I mean? You should uh, do a recap of this. It goes along with the death. This is the girl that died from Controlla when she uh, beat her with that dude in the woods and stole mm. all her shit. She ended up dying. Everyone she's ever involved with. I'm more so. I'm more so about the people in the house, though, because the people in the house—that's when you became the Black Widow. 
That is, you know, scuffling with a person. This one, you just killing them slow. You putting something in their food. You putting something and in their I drink. And I saw an episode that motherfuckers. Of the stuff we what watch? if a motherfucker's like this? Like, and she's just standing there looking off in the distance at them like. She'd turn on her live stream and be like, oh, my dad's dying. My dad's dying. Someone call help. Like, she would. She I feel would. like control she would. would. Yeah, she yeah. absolutely would. Is it, well, is there really something wrong with that? She'd be in a content creator mode? No, that's not content creator mode. That's sick. Her husband was dead in the bathroom and she turned on that stream to do the crying, remember? Well, is he dead in the bathroom? The Wait, are they waiting there. for the ambulance to come or did she do it after the ambulance already took him? The ambulance, I think, was in the house at that time. The ambulance is in the house trying to take him out, and she's right there on the camera. That's what she did that that video. Pep, stop. I swear, I swear. Pep, say I, I swear. That's why everybody clowns her for it, because she said she wasn't on YouTube, but that thing was taken. And they were in the house. Died. His believe, body's stiff. They trying to move him, so and she's on YouTube talking about no, because I think she said she don't tell the truth ever. But in the video, didn't she say last night? Last night, my husband. It wasn't last night. It was you telling me she switches her story all the time. That's she such live a piece, streamed the whole thing, and it, that's probably someone that knows me more. Knows more. That's such a piece of shit move, bro. She absolutely would film Gary's death and have somebody else call the police. Absolutely. What a piece of shit, man. Everyone she comes in contact with dies. So at least it's good to know that fucking... Uh, hold on, what's going on? Oh, that's why it just came up. Bro, look at the clusterfuck of the home that is this woman's, bro. Look at this shit. Patty's oh. rolling in her grave right now. That controller is living in her room right Damn, now. Damn, I can't make this any bigger? Come on, man. Yeah, I can. I got to. Let me see sick. Y'all, her new penthouse bedroom is Patty's old bedroom. The ghost of bro, Patty's that's fucked up, bro. That, that, you know, that's fucked up, man. The bed, the bed. If they would do that to Patty's. Patty like that, just to be giving away her shit to this fucking bum bitch who ain't earned none of it. She ain't earned none of that, bro. Where'd it go? Save. Uh, let's go right there, man. Um, no, let's see. She was happy Patty died? That's what I told Zaya. That she was happy Patty died. Bro, look at this clusterfuck of a house, bro. All she cares about is what she can get. She don't care about nothing else. Gary dies, she's not gonna miss him. She's gonna be happy she gets shit. The fucking Black Widow, bro. Look at this fucking clusterfuck back here. Holy shit, woman. What is back there, bro? I feel like this is like some type of like... This is like somewhere where people could sit and there's just a clusterfuck of shit on top of that. <laughs> Come on, bro. What the fuck? Is this even like a passageway for motherfuckers to walk? I don't know, man. I'm lost. You tell me. You tell me. I believe the Discord has another one. Where, where did Discord at, bro? I know I put another one up in there. Where's it at? Oh, look at this one. Bro, look at... Can I make this... Let me save it. Where's she at, though, man? Where's she at, though? Bro, what the fuck? That bitch cooking mushrooms, bro. Today might be the day. Uh, Pep stinks that fucking Gary going in fucking 2014. It might be the day, dog. Today might be the day. Unconspicuously making motherfucking mushrooms. About to kill a hig. Bro, put the motherfucking eggs in the fridge. Why are the eggs just chilling there? Pay attention. Like, if you see tomorrow this is still there. Bro, there's a fucking serious problem. Put the fucking eggs in the fridge. I don't think you even need that. 
Is this some type of cheese? Put the motherfucking chicken broth up. The breadcrumbs. Looking like fucking where's Waldo in this hoe, bro? Look, the fuck on. Look, this is that area back there. Look, a better, a better. Bro, motherfuckers got pants. Y'all them higgas that be having fucking kitchen tables. Mad shit on the kitchen table. You can't even use the kitchen table. You see my shit? My shit versatile. You feel me? You feel me? I could eat over there. We could chill over there. My island. That, my island technically represents that table that you have right there. You know what I'm saying? Fly shit. Bro, this shit is a clusterfuck. Are those flowers? <laughs> Bro, are those flowers? Whose pants are those? Is Gary a big boy or is those your pants? The fuck? The fuck going on back there? Higgins got, bruh. I, listen, I can't even clown too much, all right? Because I got, I got the motherfucking, these joints right here. I'm ready about to get rid of them. For real, for real. Shout out to Jules. Jules going to hold me down. Well, not really because I'm doing Jules a favor. Technically, she needed all these bins. Right, so I saved her buku bucks at Walmart. Here, you can have all these bins. Right, she gonna hold my table for me. Although, if she wanna use the table, she can have it. It's no big deal. I ain't tripping. Right, but I wanna empty this whole section out, and then that's it. Okay, I told y'all simplicity. Now, there's a likelihood I was thinking about putting a video game right there. You know, the joint they be selling in Walmart. You know what I mean? I'm thinking about it because I know somebody that will uh, jailbreak it for me. Then I'll have all the games, right? I could put one of them hoes right here. Look, right here, up against this wall. But bam, right? So there'll be a little video game system here and like a little stool. But how much play can I get out of it? I don't want to sit around playing video games all day. For that, I get like a, a play. I would have had the PlayStation. I would have kept the PlayStation. So that's what's the only thing that's kind of deterring me. But uh, this will be, once this is moved, look, that's me. Simplicity at its finest, all right? So I can't talk too much shit about that motherfucking bin back there. But at the same time, I could talk shit about that bin back there. Because that bin probably been there for a minute. Bars. Okay. What up, though? Jack, what up? She raging about uh, me, Pebs, and Juice. Salutes, rage on, sister. When you're done raging, you feel me? Look, look. These two little bitches right here, they praying that maybe you could get up off that motherfucking computer. Get up off that live where you said you don't be making money like that. You said that. I'm not pocket watching. That was what you said. You can't. You're not comfortable. You can't rely on this. Okay? Hold up, it's because you ain't got it, bitch. You ain't got the juice. I thought she don't smoke in the hospital. Okay? You might have squeezed a little bit of juice out of like a piece of fruit. But I am the juice in its completion. Bitch, you can't see me. You're below me. I'm just keeping it 100 Man or woman But might I add That you are simply a woman Do you know what that is? Peps, you should know You're a wounded man That's what you are A wounded man Alright, I am a man No matter what we believe in We both agree that man is first Correct? No You don't believe that man is first? You don't believe that man is first? That's crazy. Nonetheless, everybody believes that man is first. You nothing but a woo man. All right? A wounded man. Yo, Smokey, remember when she said she wasn't smoking in her house no more? She was fucking smoking while cooking today. Was her kid up in that house? I don't know. I think the kid was at school, right? She just fucking... Yeah, I do remember when she said she... Bruh, uh, that she wasn't going to smoke in the house or some shit like that. Man, she don't give a fuck. But she's in a different part, though, right? She's up more higher. Yeah, she's on the what, second floor or third floor. I don't she know how their she house wasn't is structured. Gonna smoke in the new place in her new penthouse. Yo, matter of fact, bro, does anybody know Controller's address? You can look it up. Too. I feel like that's public. I feel like I I could. Can I see what she? Let me see what she looks like, bro. Is there anything that shows what she look what what, uh, what her shit looks like? And maybe on the inside, maybe they have. Anybody have Controller's address? I want to see how her house is uh, set up. Uh, matter of fact, if possible, well, you could, you you could, I guess you could put it in the chat, and then I'll just remove it. 
Or if you can send it to me privately, even better. Right here. That one right there. Okay, look, look. Pebs is just looking on the... Oh, Pebs is... That's from the... the Pebs, give me that one. Give me that one right there. Give me that one. 300 block of Brookfield Avenue. Whoa! Hold on now. We got to come back to this picture, though. All right? Okay. I texted it to you. Hello! All right. Um, but that's not can you address. Discord me it, if possible? Discord you that? Because I, I don't know how I'm going to pull. I can't pull up your text from the computer. Let me pull up you. That's me like a private message if you could. Um, you know? I'll just post it. In the Get in my DMs, Pebs. No, Get in my DMs. In or, are you going to post it? Yeah. It's, mm. it's, in the fuck it's about the raid. All right. Uh, let me see. I don't know if it has the exact address. It gives a, a general where you at, man? Okay, here it is. Uh, for the folks so that they can see, we're in the Discord right now. This is when uh, Gary caught his little raid, right? So it's not like I'm attempting to uh, like Patricia dox her in a bad way. I just want to see how she's living because she's talking all that shit. She was part of that little thing with the doxing of my address. So like, I feel like, bro, it's only right that I should be able to see how you live, right? Or see what your shit look like. I want to see it. Uh, so is there an address in here? I just know it said uh, what Arden Where the raid Heights, was done? Arden Heights home. Hold on. Can I make this bigger for you? Make this Go bigger up. for everybody. Look, this, we're getting this off the article, man. 300 Santa. block of Brookfield Avenue, so I'll just look for... Uh, That's fine. Give me this. Copy. That's all I need to see, man. Motherfucker's on that slope, though. Is it this one? Get That's it, 395. It's 389. So it's got to be this one. All right. Okay. Normal, normal block. Normal block. Let's take it to the corner, man. Oh, look, look, look. Yes, sir. Because this is... Uh, remember when we was arguing about the the way that it was looking and shit? Salutes. <laughs> um, remember when we was having that convo where we was saying that uh, that I was trying to tell you that the uh, the the video was it was it, something was fucked up about it. Somebody fucked with the video because it wasn't moving at the right pace. That's this block right here that she was going down. She was driving down that one. She probably came out through here, drove down this block, and that's when she was doing all that recording that I was talking about. That I was talking about. All right. Normal little block, man. Yeah, she do be dropped for like hold on, bro. Yo, is that her car? Stop. No, right? That would be so funny. Imagine if we caught her <laughs> now. I just saw a black truck and thought it was hers. Ooh, bagels deli? Alright, cool. Her shit too though. Like I let me let me tell you something. I, I probably would have sounded crazy had I done this type of uh, 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 stream at HS2 because HS2 was kind of like this real residential, you know? Now, my shit is super commercial. I love it. I love it. Technically, I upgraded on all you higgers, bro, because y'all still living in like residential areas like this. You're not living in a, in a populated commercial style uh, 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 spot where there's mad shit. I Can I see inside her house, though? I want to see inside the house. I'm going to put for sale. Let me see if... How long has he had that house? It may not... Let me see if I do like this for rent. Zillow? Could you check Zillow? Mm, let's see. Uh, 
Mm. Let's get it. Uh, Kirk Field. Let me see. Could I try to put a number, maybe? Oh, hold on. Where's Brookfield at? Oh, there it is. Oh, shit. I don't go higher than that. Let me see. This is Brookfield right here. How many houses back is Will they tell you the number to the house, though? That's 391. What's hers? 389? 389. Damn. Damn. No pictures. Uh, just the value. I want. I was hoping they had like some pictures of the inside, bro. I want to see the inside without the fucking clutter. Without the fucking clutter, can I see the inside been, without the clutter? That means that it would have been before it got destroyed, though. That's why I want to see it without the clutter. I want to see how the rooms are positioned. You know what I'm saying? So, Lou, shout out to Jake Grizzly Zay. The goal is to move away from the populated areas, but maybe that's just me. Prefer peace of mind. Um. The general concept, yeah, I guess it would be to move to something quieter. I guess as I've gotten older, I want, I don't necessarily want it to be quiet. Like, here's another thing. For me, it was more so moving away from the area that I would consider, you know, just maybe lower income. I feel as you make more money, you should at least live in an area that suits how you make money. You understand? Like, if you're not making a lot of money, then cool. And I understand you got to live in a, to me, I would say, a, 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 how would you say? Maybe like the projects, living in the projects. I got to live in the projects based on my income. But most times, a motherfucker, in order to get out the projects, what you got to do, you got to make more income. Right? You got to make more money. And don't forget that I am a tourist. That is correct. I am a tourist. All right? That is the uh, the role that I am playing for the sake of HS3 and this year, 2023 and 2024 and 2025. All right? Because I'm, I'm in this motherfucker, bro. I like this building. I like the area. They're still building. Right? Matt, imagine having everything that you need and they're still building. <laughs> All right? It's only to my benefit. All right, salutes, man. Bro, look at this fucking clusterfuck of a fucking spot, bro. <laughs> Yo. Anda Diablo. I was trying to explain this to Tony, right? And tell me if I'm wrong, peps. Before you have a child or a child is present, you have your own style, yeah. right? You got your own style of how you would decorate said apartment, said crib, or... Even if it only comes down to you having a room, you have your own style in your room, right? Once a child comes along, though, they start adding their shit in on your shit, right? I feel like this is like a little a little section that they would probably put some stuff up, you know? And then little by little, it gets kiddish, right? Now, I had this wrong at first, right? I thought this was a, uh, I thought this was a floaty. When I was looking at the picture, it was much smaller, so I was just like... I pictured it as a uh, like a like a rubber ducky type thing, and I'm like, bro, like I hate when the fucking you can see the kid in the woman or the home, right? It's like the kiddish shit is around. Like, bro, take that shit to your room. This is the common area. This ain't where for you to be displaying your toys. You know. Now I would understand like a plaque or something that's for the child, like representing the child, but not like toys and shit. I originally thought this was a rubber ducky, but this looks more like a Christmas ornament. Maybe this is Christmas shit. Does all this shit come down after Christmas, or do you motherfuckers just leave that shit up there all year round? That I probably would have a problem with that. When the fuck does Santa get the fuck off this ledge? Yeah? Is that motherfucker there for the whole fucking year with his fucking frosty beard and shit? Summertime, Higgins. I'm not gonna you know, lie, I used there? to keep my Christmas tree up all year and just do like holiday trees for like every season. Uh, you know, I guess it ain't that fucking bad if you got a Christmas tree up. But fuck it, nigga. You know what I mean? Like Halloween, like down. I used yeah, to change the lights and stuff, I guess. Yeah, 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 I, yeah I guess that's not that big of a deal. Uh, but I originally thought this was a rubber ducky, bro. What's up with all the mushrooms, though? This bitch trying to kill Higgins, man. Bro. Come on, bro. What's that, though? That's what I was wondering. What, this? Yeah. I feel like this is like the either the ricotta cheese. Ricotta. Ric ricotta. 
that or you know how we use uh what's that shit we use for the for your little shrimp pasta yesterday the flaky shit what's it called parmesan parmesan hispanic called well i in my from my hispanic days we call it queso cicote all right bro what a fucking clusterfuck you can't even walk through here is it bro this is supposed to be an exit look the thing ends right here the thing ends right here Right? This is supposed to be an exit where I can walk out this way or walk to the table. And we can't even get to that motherfucker. Whose clothes are these? I think they're my Barry's. Barry's? Gary's. Oh, I was going to say, bro, they have a Barry now? <laughs> Who the fuck is Barry? Bro, what's up with all these fucking clothes, bitch? Get this shit the fuck up out of here. And then motherfuckers can't tell me, oh, it's no big deal. They just put the, they put it on the chair. You know, but the chair could just turn around and go underneath the table. No, look at all the shit on the bottom. They're building here. They're building. She's building a whole a whole area of just cluster. Get this shit the fuck out of here. This a this ain't a fire hazard. <laughs> you know how when they be saying that you gotta you gotta make sure that the lanes are open? It's a fire hazard. Bro, there's got to be a fire hazard right here in this motherfucker, bro. Get this the fuck up out of here. Create this space where motherfuckers could walk this way. All right? It's the fucking holiday season. Motherfuckers want to sit at this table, bro, and have dinner. Okay? Fuck going on. Is this Doritos back there? What is this? I feel like they just, I, think, I feel like they did food shopping and they just left the shit on the fucking, on, on the table. Put that shit away, bro. Yo, am I the only person that, uh, I think, I think I am the only person. Pez, let me ask you a question. When the, uh, when we when you bring in the like let's say for instance the the that Publix juice, do you at all just wipe that down? No. no. I try to remember to wipe it down because remember, bro, that's just just sitting in a store. Like and you don't after, even know they might have rats. After you started doing that with the beer, the beer especially, you it, put your mouth on the beer, clean the it beer on hit the top. Me after you started doing, because I never. I always wash my beer before. when you see me. I always turn the water and wash my beer, bro. Never like, thought of that. Before. Why nigga, you putting your you, mouth on the fucking yeah. top and you don't know they could have rats. No. You know, the rats might be running towards the area where there's food, but in the process of them running over there, them niggas is stepping on the cans and shit and all that, bro. And hell nah, bro. Bugs, roaches, anything. Anything could get on them cans. Yeah, you got to wash the motherfucking cans, bro. You can't just be fucking, you know? And listen, even if I'm outside and I can't wash the can, I'm at least taking my thing. And I'm at least doing. And like I noticed that. you did that at, at the other house, and I'm like, "What is he doing?" Like at first, I, I thought you were the weird, cans, and then it man. made sense to me why you were doing it because when I looked at one of the PBRs, it had like not dust, but you know what I'm saying. It's just got residue yeah. of whatever, you know, so whatever. It's been sitting, you, you know, it's been sitting. It might, and again, it might not even be rats, bro. It, it's it's just sitting there. Whatever's in that in the air is just landing on top of the can and then literally marinating onto the can because it's gonna stay there. There's nothing that's gonna move it. The only time it's gonna move. All I ever wanted was to never end up broke. Cause money can't buy back time, my nigga. CPS sent three dollars. Unfortunately, the way you're living is cause for concern for the safety of baby Ellie. Ellie was born addicted to fentanyl and now this. Damn, salute. Shout out to CPS. All right. Unfortunately, the way you're living is cause for concern for the safety of baby Ellie. Ellie was born addicted to fentanyl and now this. Uh, I was also, I was, I was talking about this shit the other day. Somebody was in the, somebody, they always try to take it back to you. And I'm like, all right, cool. Take it up with her, bro. I don't fucking care. I'm talking about this bitch over here. All right, baby addicted to fucking fentanyl on the birth. And that coincides with what I was saying about, bro, everybody. Like, when I say this, I don't take myself out of the equation. You know that, right? Even me, right? I shouldn't be, I shouldn't have been allowed to have kids. No, that should be something that you got to apply for, bro. They got to make sure that the right people are having kids. There's too many of the wrong motherfuckers having kids. You feel me? And let me tell you something. If you are a junkie, you know, you are a junkie, uh, you know, your, your, your significant other is a junkie, you, got, you guys are more than likely going to be doing drugs and having sex, making fucking babies that, bro, you, you don't even want them babies at that point. You trying to do drugs, nigga. You don't want to be responsible for no baby. 
at the very least, let them fucking crackheads fuck and not have to ever worry about this. Something going to come out of it. Another human being is going to be born. It's not a good look, bro. Okay? It's not a good look. But uh, salutes, man. Bro, look at this fucking mess. What a fucking mess. Well, let me see here. I just see your OCD going nuts. Bro, my shit, I don't need, I can't even look over there too hard, but like, for the sake of the content, of course, always. Hmm. But bam. Uh, don't get pregnant as a junkie or after you have one. No, don't get pregnant as a junkie whatsoever. You know what I mean? If you're a junkie, you shouldn't uh you shouldn't have to be worrying about, you know, children and shit like that. Just do your junkie shit. Last time I checked, most junkies when they doing heroin, bro, don't they aren't they nodding off? How long does that heroin shit last? I've never done heroin at all. Yeah. How addicting is what she's doing? When she was doing it, how addicting was it? Was she, you know, was she fucked up and then coming back to reality and it's already going into the search for it again? Because that's when you are fully addicted. When you are just getting high and then when you wake up, you're just working for the sake of the getting high part. Okay? Although I myself at one point in time was doing a lot of drugs. A lot of drugs? Like, I don't feel like I was... I don't feel like my whole life was evol revolving around how are we going to get the drugs? And No, it was just like living like regular life, going to work and then... There being drugs available. Now you have, you got money to buy drugs. So we buy, you know, I got money to buy drugs. My friend got money to buy drugs. That person got money to buy drugs. And we just doing drugs together. All right. That's my type of, that's how I was in my, in my drug stage. All right. I still was around motherfuckers that like had jobs and was working and motherfuckers was making money. Motherfuckers would get pretty on the weekend. Yo, we getting pretty this weekend? You getting pretty? I, I got paid. You got, you, Yeah. Motherfuckers taking up the bathroom. You got to knock on the bathroom. Hello. Hello. You got to pass it off. It's go in, do your business, come out, not stay in there. No, she was on Suboxone. Suboxone? Not, not uh, fentanyl. Nah, weird. man. I, I, I guess the folks that was around me, um, I had people that did Coke and I had people that did E. And people that do, what's the other one? Molly. I've never been around people that did even needles. Like, if they did, they definitely left where I was at to go do it somewhere else. I don't know anybody. I've never been to, like, even a like a, a gathering, anything. You know, you see how we just chill? Like, everybody's kind of their own person. Like, if Toss want to drink, he could drink. If Juice want to smoke, he could smoke. You know, Jadis is a drinker. Everybody's kind of got their own thing. I've never been around someone that is, like, shooting needles. Yeah, I... That's too much for me. You know? Or even the Fent one, like how, you see how Tone be like, all that crazy, like, nah, never. Niggas never been like that, you know? That'd be crazy. I'm turning on my stream of you up in here like that. I'm letting you know right now. See, bro, I don't even know why you fuck you came up up That's in here. Crazy like that. That's crazy. I don't even know why the fuck you around me. You know that I'm, I'm bro, especially that dope lean, because the dope lean, bro, like, motherfucker, I've seen some type, boy, hold on. They gotta be a compilation or something. Compilation? Com Compilation, compilation or compilation? Who's right, y'all? Who's saying it properly? Me or Zaya? Compilation or how? Compilation? Compilation. It's compilation. Compilation. No, compilation. No, it's, compilation. It's compilation. Compilation. No, that's wrong. Google's wrong. It's compilation. Compilation. It's not compilation. It's compilation. I think that bitch is retarded. Compilation. No, no you retarded. All right, Google said compilation. Compilation. Google. Google's wrong. Salutes to you on your compilation. All right? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the fuck you talking about. Salutes. <laughs> compilation <laughs> isn't a word. All right. Said what were we looking for? Okay, YouTube. Can we get some dope leans? It's got to be a dope lean vehicle. Go to uh, uh, not like vehicle, uh, video. Uh, dope lean. You gotta go to those drug addicts. What's it called? You gotta give it the words. Drug addict leaning. Boy. What's this one? 
Wait, hold on, hold on. Come on, bro. There's at least one motherfucker out here that thought that it'd be a good idea to put a bunch of them clips together. Carissa. Nah. <laughs> Carissa? Another Carissa. <laughs> Intervention. Severe heroin <laughs> addict. Addiction. That's funny. Look, let me show you this, this, this troller right here. Look, that's her joint right there. Oh, man. All right, that's her compilation. You telling me no one put? Did you put compilation? I did it. Idiot. That's why. Oh this shit! This shit is crazy. Holy man! This is just what, bro. They got a they got a twenty four hour cam on this joint too. Over there in uh, in Philly, man. Bro, they're just standing there. Look, they fucked up. Damn. That's how crazy it is out there. Philly. Kensington Avenue. They're literally just right there, just doing it right yeah. there. Look, he's... Is he fucking putting a needle in I his chest right the there? I thought the same thing. The fuck going on, man? And he's hiding he it with to, that shirt. He's no? trying to help her, man. Take some more, baby. And you, what you think ends up happening? These takers end up going around the block into the alleyway to have sex. They're selling their vagina Look. for drugs. I bet you. Bruh! And this is like the train station. Like, they're just parked up at the train station. Yo, look at him. He's about to fall That forward. Higa leaning. Look at, look look at, at the lean. That's the dope lean right there. This Higa right here? Oh, man. Bro, that's the dope lean right there. Peep that motherfucker. You see that right there? No, no, no. He trying to. He getting ready. He getting ready. The dope lean. You already doped up. Oh man. You know what I'm saying? That's when you just, you just hanging midair like this. Higa, look. He's my Higa. It are they? Sh Bro, what the fuck going on over here, man? Ah, look the garbage everywhere. Look, that's it. <laughs> he doing it. Look. I think Rainey that's a lean like, right Rainey there. Was in the middle of her over that might be the dope like... lean for y'all. All right, you see it? Sometimes you see the motherfucker on the train. Yo, the motherfucker on the train, those are the motherfuckers that, boy, they got that shit mastered down to a science. Because when the train is moving, they don't fall. Wait, he said someone was getting high on their neck. Where? On the neck? Somewhere in there. I think that's when I... They, look. What the fuck? That higga back there. Look, he leaning. Oh my god, and it's just damn, bro. The neck, though. Uh, uh. Oh my god. Oh, that that is disgusting. You know, damn, bro. What? So, so what's up with Philly? Like they don't, they don't uh, patrol this area. Don't look like it. What are they gonna do? Arrest all of them? I'm saying, though, like, you can't just be saying... This is what I be talking about, especially, like, in the sneaker camp outs when motherfuckers just be leaving mad garbage. Come on, bruh. Hell yeah, bruh. Kick the motherfuckers out. Bruh, the, bruh, the cops fall right there. <laughs> the cops right there. Is that a police officer? That's a police officer, man. It's All right? Not, Come on. It's not security. Go up the stairs, dog. Yes. Come on, go in there. Go in there. Show, just give us a clear shot of police walking away. Transit police. Is that the same as a police Transit officer? police. Does she got a pistol on her? Matter of fact, even more reason. She's transit police. She should be telling them, yo, you got to get off this corner. Y'all can't be on this corner. Hell no. Nah. Y'all got to go somewhere else. Come on, come on, come on. Everybody move, 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 move. If you don't move, I'm calling the police. You're going to be arrested. Move, move, move. Move off this corner. Transit police. I'm policing this area. They got to do with the transit. This is the block. Why anyone would get out at this station would be to do I, drugs. I'm telling you, I'd be scared if I got off the train. What if you lived right across the oh, street from no. it? I'd be scared. I wouldn't walk outside. I'd be... I'd be scared, not gonna lie. And I lived in the hood and I wasn't scared. <sighs> Come on, man. Look, that's the station, right? Just walking back. Come on! She's just chilling on her phone. Get the fuck from around she here, man. She definitely has cuffs. 
and I think a gun. I think she's able to. Y'all got to get the fuck off this block, man. Are you taking the train? Yes or no? You taking? And even if I walk by you and I say, yo, you taking the train? All right, cool. You taking the train? If you say, yeah, you taking the train? My nigga, if I see you 20, 30, 40 minutes later, an hour later, my nigga, you not taking the train. Get the fuck off the block, bro. This is going to be Wawa soon. Get off the block. This is going to be Wawa soon. Wawa need to take control, bro. And need to tell, need to at least say, yeah. the manager? <laughs> if the manager's a man, I would, I would, listen, if it's a female, then you go out two people. Go out two people. But you got to go out there and say, hey, you can't be here. If you bought something cool, you can't stay here forever. You bought a juice. Theory, yeah, yeah, you bought a juice. You can't stay here forever for the juice, right? And it's not fucking come shop at Wawa, get free electricity. Anyway, right? Okay, cool. If you bought a sandwich, I would understand. Like, yo, you eating, you charging your phone, and cool. But just, you planted there? The other day, motherfuckers had bags. Like, they're, like their bags, you could tell that they're homeless. They're carrying their shit. Everything lined up. They had a full strip. With mad shit plugged in the strip. And in my mind, I'm like, bruh, what are you doing? Who raised you? This is sad right here, bro. No, no, and no offense to these people, bro. But come on, do you see? Like the thing is, is that even if y'all were chilling here, right? You can't chill here because then y'all just are the ones that be leaving the garbage. Then you don't give a fuck. Right? It's not like these hickers be there and, like, let me tell you something. If I was a homeless hicker, bro, and I'm chilling on this block, I would never throw my anything on the floor. I'll throw it in the garbage can. I'll find a garbage can. You don't see me even when, like, like for instance, we left the movie theater yesterday, and there was no, I didn't see nowhere where we could throw it away immediately. And I held it until the next time. I don't really see you littering. Well, a couple times, but not rare. It's, it's rare. It's very, very rare. What you mean? Never, never. You think you just seen Q walking by? Possibly. Ain't he from... Oh, he from... Uh, ain't, yeah, he from Pennsylvania, right? This is the this is one of the cities in his state. But uh, I don't think he lived... I don't, I don't think he lived close enough, you know what I'm saying? That, uh, that I would then hold him to it, you know what I'm saying? Look, garbage is everywhere. This is crazy. This I get because it's, you know, obviously, but like over there where the transit thing is, the, bro, there's no reason for them people to be there, bro. Just causing a mess like that. And then where's the person that, that cleans up? Where Do the people not come to take the trash out? Motherfuckers out here looking crazy, crazy. Is that a fucking tent? This nigga got a tent on the block, bro. Come on now. All right. He got a tent out there. Higgins is sleeping. Niggas is sleeping, doing drugs, pass the fuck out, borrowing the tent. This is sad, man. All right, salutes. Uh, I showed y'all the dope lean. Boy, let me show you this motherfucking. The fuck going on back there? Does that TV work? I feel like they're the type of people that the TV don't work. They just leave it there. Fuck it. It look nice and make it look like we got a TV. Is this a fucking couch? You can't even get to this couch. There's mad shit right here, though. You can't get to this couch. What's the purpose of having this couch? Zay, would you stay out there two days for content? Hell no. Nah, and hang out with them? Nah, because all the people that I've seen that go there just actively with a camera, bro, they go there with somebody. They don't go there by themselves. You know what I'm saying? They don't go there by themselves as content creators. They always get like a pass from somebody. You know what I mean? Like, that would be something... That's like uh, the same instance with uh, uh, Tone Capone, right? Shout out to Tone. When I went uh, down to, uh, to visit him, uh, there was like a section that he walked me through. And no, I'm, I'm originally from New York. So me just walking through there, knowing, uh, knowing the potential of what could happen... And I'm and I, I you know, I haven't I haven't spoken to anybody. I ain't got with nobody. No, nah. no, nah, not at all. Not that area. Not not something like that. You know what I'm saying? They may not want to be recorded. You know what I'm saying? Free tone from what? Tone good. Homeless stream, North Miami. Uh, salutes, man. Let's check the Discord. Pez, what you got in there, man? What the fuck is this? 
Come on. Hold on. All right. What else we got, Pebbles? Oh, my Lord. What is this? Can we make it bigger? No. Let me save it. Uh, hold on. Let me let me save it because uh, if I don't do it this way, something might pop on the screen. Uh, save. Did it pop over there? No, it pops over here. Desktop. Save there. Uh, all right. Let's get it. Where is it at? I got it. Oh, there it is. Holy shit. Is this I feel like th this ain't currently, is it? What a fucking clusterfuck. Br bro, no, I think I've seen this picture before, though. But th it, uh, honestly, uh, I appreciate uh, pulling it back up, right? This is just, you know, again, some of my critique. This big ass fucking tent, bro. Is she playing with this shit? If she ain't playing with that shit, take it the fuck down. More than likely, what these motherfuckers is doing, they left the tent up and they putting shit in the tent now. Shit everywhere. Oh my god, bro, is this just clothes over here? What's going on with this pile back here? Is she fucking teaching? Is she writing on this fucking stupid ass board, nigga? Sell that shit. Shout to Zimpulse. Uh, as bad as that looks, it's still better than living in a third world country. Uh, Zimpulse, give me an example of a third world country. Give me an example of one. Oh. And then the, bro, it's the kid shit, bro. It's the kid shit everywhere. Look, right there, right here. Is this where the T is the TV right here? And you just got shit in front of the TV? Like. Bro, look, when I had the fucking, when I had the shit right there, when I had the other TV there, and even when I was about to put this up, that I put it there, but nigga, that shit was bothering me. That shit was bothering me. I wasn't able to even leave that right there, and my shit is fucking neat and clean, and I still couldn't be able to do it. Okay? And I, let me tell you something. I've been, I've been seeing this one. All right? So... You can't fool nobody by saying that Zaya's mad because he wanted you and you rejected him. Bitch, just by this picture alone, I wouldn't want you. You know what I'm saying? Hell no. Nah. This is your, this is, this, no. Okay? And let me tell you something. You wouldn't want me either. Because I'd be on your fucking ass, your fucking neck. You know? Not in a not in a rough type of way. Shit, listen, I, I I did that shit living at Jules's crib. I was on them boys' ass, bro. Like, bro, you can't be leaving all this shit hanging around, bro. Come on. And Jules loved that shit. Loved it. All right. Whenever I come home, she'd be like, bro, can you can you tell them boys something? Bro, come get all this shit, bro. You have y'all lost your mind. This ain't this is the common area. This ain't an, an extension of your room. You know, I get on, yeah. yeah. Like, no, it, listen, it's not just you, like, you know what I mean? It's not because I hate you or I have a problem with you, but, <laughs> you know, I like my shit straight, straightened up at least. And I'm one of them higgins that I like to clean as I go. If I clean as I go, then I don't have to dedicate, you got to remember, I come from the time when my grandmother used to make us dedicate the whole Saturday, sometimes the whole weekend to cleaning. I'm like, bruh, are you fucking kidding me? I want to go, I, I want to go do so. I want to go play at the park. I want to go do this. I want to go do that. I got to stay cleaning. I learn quickly. I'm just going to clean as I go. So by the time I get to cleaning day or whatever's perceived as cleaning day, I just got to tidy up. That's when you got to know your terms. I don't, I don't got to do a full cleanup. I just do a tidy up and I'm gone. Okay. I cook you clean. And eh, that shit used to work, but it just depends on who you're sharing, uh, you're sharing those responsibilities with. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it got to be a, bro, you could cook, cool, but you gonna have to clean, bro. Because you just using the whole fucking, like, Jules is like that. Jules uses fucking mad shit just to make a, a small, I think you too, you do that shit too. 
y'all use so much stuff just to get the meal done. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're, you're, you're comp- like, you'll use a fork, you'll do a stir, you throw it in the sink, and then you're going for another fork to keep on doing it. Next thing you know, you done ran through all the forks. Just keep on using the same fork. So what I do is I take the fork, I, I do the spin on whatever I'm doing, and then I open the thing on the fork, the water on the fork, and I leave the fork in the sink. Or I put it to the side, and then that'd be the fork that I keep using. Y'all who just use it, y'all just keep on reaching in there. Cross-contamination. Uh, cross-contamination, you're kind of always going to be just, just reaching for shit, you know, while you're cooking and cleaning and stuff like that. It's going to happen. Like, I try to always just at least, you know, wipe my shit down. And I tell people, even me, the cleanest, I feel, when you, if you go to use something, when they go, you know, wipe it down uh, or at least rinse it off, you know, rinse it, you know? But other motherfuckers just be like her with them fucking mushrooms and shit and just, is she touching a bunch of shit? You know? You know how you know? Go check. Everybody could do this. This will this will give a uh this will give you an impression of the type of person you are. Go check out the handle on your fridge. Touch it. Right? Do you feel particles on it? It's because you now wiping your hands before you open the fridge. You just touching it every time. You know what I'm saying? If you take a if you take a, a wet wipe and you just do like this to your you, you feel me? You just do like this to your motherfucking handle on your fridge. Is that motherfucker gonna be black? <laughs> or different colors other than like a dirty a dirty look on a on a towel? A dirty look on a on a wipe? Cause you get like the kind of dirty look on the wipe. Alright, cool, it was a little dirty. Then you get black. Like, God damn. That shit back there, not even that. That's not even dirty. That's filth. That's gunk. All right, a bitch like this, she might have some fucking filth somewhere. Hopefully, it's just that they're messy. You know, hopefully there's not like food left around or shit like that, bro. You gotta pick that shit up, man. Zaya, you can look up my old address in Columbia on Google Maps if you want to see a third world living. All right, so Luz, if you go, if you giving us yo, if you giving us your old address, we can do that, man. I was just asking you. I was I was gonna pull up something though. No matter what you ask, give me an address, man. Let me see. Let me see where. Let me see where it takes me. I've never lived in. Uh, I've never lived in anything like really poor though. I, I'm not even gonna lie, bro. Like, my mama had a crib, and then when my when 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 the perception was that my daddy passed away, my mama just moved from the Bronx to Queens. So my mama had her own crib in the Bronx. She just moved to Queens and just moved in with her mama. The problem is, is that my mama had a drug habit, and my grandmother wasn't gonna let her stay there just using drugs and shit. So my mama would get kicked the fuck out. All right, let's see it, man. Let me let me get this address. Copy. Let's see. Let's see what a fucking third world country, third world living look like. Go right there, man. Uh, matter of fact, let's do Google Maps. Hmm. Okay. Bada bing. Can I see... Uh, how do I get to see it though? Do I gotta zoom in like this? Jan, look at how the address was written. Where is that at? Columbia. Yeah. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get that. Is it not going to take me to street level? There we go. Let's see. Uh, bro, even this don't even look bad.
Bro, why they always be having such little cars in other countries? Yeah. Probably maybe. I feel like there's always like little ass cars. I know Europe has small fucking cars. Little Yo, I wonder, bro. You see, that's why, man. I wonder what the. I wonder what it costs out there to have like a, one of them big commercial spaces like that. That would be dope. Create a whole fucking Hega. Fucking uh, what do they call that shit? The Higa. What did they call the shit that Bin Laden had? He had a compound. Whoa! You want a Higa compound? I want the Higa Studios to be located. We went from HS1 apartment, right? Which it, it was still a dope apartment. Okay? Nice area. Across the street from fucking Waterford Lakes. Then I went to the house. HS2. I went back to the apartment now. Less responsibility on me. More ability to get outside. And I'm in a fucking badass area. Meaning good. I'm where all the fucking stores are at. Huh? What? The next thing is a Higa compound. Okay? Where I can have, boy, if I hit, bro, a Higa compound? What if I had a compound with, like, fucking 10 rooms? You know? I wonder if I could get that in DR, what it would cost me. Would it cost me, I wonder how much more it would cost me from this to that. Because technically, like, you got to remember, it's cheaper down there by a lot. That's why motherfuckers be moving down there or going down there so consistently. A Higa compound, bro. Sheesh. That would be dope as shit. All right. Mira ta fucking polka. Ta polka sucia. I want that shit Ben Laden had. Facts. <laughs> I want a Higa compound out this hoe. That would be fucking fire. Okay? Have my own. Bro, even do my own thing where I got my own, like, uh... Maybe I can even have my own store in the compound. I turn one of the rooms into my own store where I sell where I sell shit in. And the motherfuckers that be in the compound, they just buy shit off me, man. Okay? So when you come to the compound, there will be no outside drinks allowed. No outside drinks, no outside food, nothing. Everything comes through me. Alright? If a fucking nickel bag gets sold in the common area, I want in. Motherfuckers got fat while they star, bro. All right? It's my time. Or uh, what was it that motherfucker had the Carter, right? Remember the Carter? <laughs> Remember the Carter in fucking uh, New Jack City, right? Was that where the car? That's where the Carter's from. Let me see. That was a whole apartment complex, though. The Carter, uh, New Jack City. Oh, Pookie sucking on the fucking pipe. Let me see what it looked like. Do we got images? Oh, Graham Court, a.k.a. the Carter. So this is where they filmed it. Look. This is the Carter, man. What? Had that whole shit, the takeover. I should start a Higa Hotel is what I should do. A Higa Hotel. Or even do a fucking, uh, what you call that shit? A package deal. <laughs> a package with flight and everything. Come visit a Higa attraction out this motherfucker. I actually like that building. Which one? Yeah, it's pretty dope. All right. Uh, fuck that boy, bro. You see, yo, you see this shit, though? Smoker, you see this? <laughs> and then to be jodiendo la fucking vida. Nah, go clean that fucking room, porca sucia. <sighs> Fuck this shit, man. Salutes, we be back, man. Gorilla booty cheeks, we clapping. Clapping them gorilla booty cheeks. Clapping them gorilla booty cheeks. We clapping gorilla cheeks. We clapping gorilla cheeks. We clapping gorilla cheeks. We clapping gorilla cheeks, we clapping gorilla cheeks, we clapping